Good morning! It's travel time chit chat! Actually I was uh, getting in the car and I actually said it's travel time chit chat to myself out loud though and then I was like oh I gotta come up with a theme song for when I do travel time chit chat. As always, I need to apologize. I'm not actually looking at you. I'm gonna look at the road most of the time. So just really my travel time chit chats is just listen along. You don't normally need to look at what I'm doing because I'm just driving. I'm actually on my way to my mom's house. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a travel time chit chat video, but you know why? I haven't really had anything to talk about. I haven't had anything to say. If you can imagine that with me not having anything to talk about. But I said, well, let me just come on and do a little update. And I know I was live yesterday and, and hung out with um, Bluegrass Thrift. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. But see, it's Sunday, November 1st. And I'm going to my ma's. I forgot that we had to change our clocks last night and I woke up I thought it was like six o'clock and I was sitting on the couch drinking my coffee checking the internet to see what was going on in the world and reading Brickseek to, to see if there's any good deals that happened at Walmart overnight with November 1st and I looked down and I saw that it was like five something and I'm like five I thought it was six I'm like my clock is wrong and then I realized ah oh, we were supposed to change our clocks so I'm up early so I texted my mom and I said hey I know I'm supposed to be at your house at nine I'm gonna be there closer to eight and uh, which is actually good because it gets us going earlier and we can hit Walmart, see what kind of stuff is on clearance for Halloween. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we are out gonna go and hit up some discounted Halloween craft supplies. Anything that we could possibly even use for right now or year round crafts. Uh, so my mom and I, when we were young, when I was young, we used to craft a lot. And we just kind of got off from it. And I still crafted a lot with my, with my daughter and I did a lot of scrapbooking with friends and family and stuff like that. But it's been, gosh, I bet you 10 years since I've really done any crafts. And a couple weeks ago, my mom and I started making some Christmas ornaments. And then we ended up going last weekend, last weekend? The weekend before that? Last weekend. <laughs> I can't remember. Every week seems like it's all kind of lumped in together. Uh, we went to my sister's house and we did a crafting weekend with my two sisters, my sister-in-law, my mom, myself, and one of my nieces. And we had a really good time. And it just was so nice, such a stress reliever. And right now we're in corner four. Things are just crazy this year with reselling. Uh, so many of us have been so busy. And then some of us have not been so busy, but we're seeing other people who are busy. And I talked a little bit yesterday about FOMO and fear of missing out. And I've been really kind of struggling with that because I see people just doing crazy good on Amazon right now. And I just am not traveling like I used to. And I'm, and I live in such a remote area. I mean, I don't have a Target. I don't have a Kohl's. I don't have, a, I don't have a Michael's. And I mean, I got to travel an hour to get to Joanne's Fabrics today. So I'm just really remote, which has been okay because I just have traveled and done my sourcing and stuff like that, and I've enjoyed that part of it. But right now, I'm not traveling as much. Uh, I don't like wearing the mask, so being in a store for two, three hours scanning just is not my cup of tea. Uh, I did the canning lids this, this summer, and that was great because I ran in, knew exactly what I wanted, and ran out. But right now, I just don't have something that is that I know is so hot that it's really worth doing a trip just to grab those items. And so I'm kind of dealing with that. So going and having the stress relieving weekend with my sisters, my mom, and my sister-in-law, and my niece 
was so much fun. We had such a good time and we made some great crafts. I just love that creativity part. I'm not so creative as I used to be, I feel, because I'm not using that part of my brain as much. And I really think you kind of have to use it to keep it going. And so my mom has been stuck in the house. And anybody who's been watching my channel, you know, I've, I've talked about this a lot. My dad passed away three years ago. And, you know, my mother lived, lived for my father. And my father lived for my mother. And it's been extremely difficult for them. You know, she, she downsized her home. She was living in a five bedroom, four bath home. And she actually downsized to, I would really say a one bedroom home. It was two bedrooms, but we converted one of the bedrooms into a laundry room for her. Um, so she lives there and she says it just doesn't feel like a home. You know, she just feels like a house she lives in. And she hasn't been able to get out as much. A lot of her friends are not getting together with each other. You know, they're all very, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, you know, high, high risk for catching the virus. So they're not really hanging out with each other. Uh, she used to go to bingo and bingo's not opened back up. So there's just a lot of the things that she used to do, she's not being able to do anymore. And when we started crafting, she really enjoyed that. And so then we went to, we went to um, that weekend and when we came home, she's just on this crafting high and wanting to craft more. So she told me she was gonna order some stuff from the Dollar Tree, but you have to order like a case lot. And I'm like, mom, what are you gonna do with 36 gnomes, you know? So I said, she was gonna make these gnomes. And I said, what are you gonna do with 36 of them? So I said, all right, listen, I'm gonna carve out some time for you and let's go shopping. And I thought today would be great because there'll be things on clearance because of being November 1st. And we'll, we'll go and grab some stuff and it kind of gives her the opportunity to have some crafts at home. And it gives her, uh, or I should say, it gives me the opportunity to go out and do some sourcing because I can do some, some scanning while we're out and about and picking up stuff. Um, but right now, you know, I live in upstate New York, northern New York, near the Canadi Ca Canadian, Canadian, yeah, Can Canadian. I was gonna say Canada and it came out, came out Canadian, so I was messed up in my head there. I live near the Canadian border and right now we have 39 cases in our, in our county, which is really high for a very, very rural county. And we have six in the hospital. Um, you know, I mean, most likely everybody will recover because that's what the stats have shown, but still it's just kind of scary, the thought of even catching it. So we'll be doing some limited uh, shopping. Like we won't, I won't spend as long as I normally do. It'll be kind of more of in and out, but I'll still be hopefully grabbing some things. Uh, so where there is a sphere, because in New York, Governor Cuomo does like to shut down stuff. And with our numbers rising, I can see him shutting down stores. So places like Joanne's won't be open possibly in the future if he shuts things down. So we want to get what we need, stock up on some su supplies for in fear that things will get worse. And he will go ahead and shut it down. And we don't want that. So let's get some stuff ready. So if that does happen at least we have stuff that we can do. And I also wanted to say that the other reason is uh, for my my FOMO when it comes to Amazon and sourcing is that I've been really trying to limit my exposure to mass amounts of people. If I, well, I'll, I'll, for example, I went into, um, where did I go? Oh, I went to a TJ Maxx in Vermont last weekend on our way home. I ran in to do some scanning and just grab some stuff for resale. And I came out and mom was like, wow, that was really quick. And I said, it is so crowded in there. Um, you know, I'm also trying to watch my exposure because I do spend time with my mother who is at high risk. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get sick and give it to her. And I mean, I don't want to get sick myself, but then if I was to actually give it to somebody I love and they were to get sick and have complications, and God forbid, die, then it, that would be very, very difficult for me to live with. So I try and even limit my exposure. So, I mean, this whole thing, it's just, year has been just absolutely crazy. 
And I was talking again yesterday, and I know I, I touched on this topic, oh, I don't know, a few months ago, I talked about burnout and making sure that you take time for yourself. Uh, this is probably the second time this year where I have kind of been just, my stress level had gotten to a point where I said I got to back off. And I've talked about that a number of times on the channel where I've, where I've kind of pivoted from Amazon because they're creating so much stress for me. And, you know, and I'm very thankful that I don't need my reselling for full-time income. I have a husband and he's got an income. And so my, you know, it helps, obviously supplying some income helps, but I'm not the breadwinner of the family and it's not just my income that, that provides for the family. So I'm very, very fortunate for that. So when things get like this, then I know that I can kind of pivot, which has been, I think the word of the year besides uh, COVID and pandemic has been the word pivot. When in the reselling community, we've had to pivot our businesses. A lot of us were doing FBA and we pivoted to FBM during April and May when we couldn't send stuff into Amazon. If you, if you didn't already have a large stock sitting in Amazon, you were kind of screwed if you didn't do FBM because you couldn't sell any new items. So I switched a lot to FBM and now I'm pretty much doing, I would say 80% of my sales right now are FBM. But I did send in a box last week. I did partake in the Big Lots toy clearance that went on last week. I went and picked up I don't even know how many toys, not a lot, because again, I'm very rural. I do have two big lots within a half hour for me that I hit up and I, I went to both of them and I sent them in this week. I had four boxes full, not big boxes. I sent in medium sized boxes and then even then some of them I had to cut down because they weren't full. Uh, that is one thing I've been doing is and when I, I say doing, uh, I've only sent in probably, I think only three or four shipments in the last two months. I'm not like, I have a friend who set, just sent in like 14 boxes. She's just killing it, killing it. But not me. So I did send in some boxes. I wasn't going to do any FBA at all for quarter four. But I looked at those boxes of toys. I looked at the pile of FBM stuff I currently have on hand. And I said, I'm sending these in. Uh, I did keep a few out to do FBM because right now it was primarily FBM on the listing. So I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and do FBM along with the others. I kind of feel like I'm gonna regret mailing them in. I hope I'm not wrong, but I have this feeling that I might regret that I just sent in some boxes. Um, some of you know that I did send in a box on September 4th, uh, three boxes went to AVP in Pennsylvania, and the boxes kind of, uh, well, one, two boxes got there, the third box never got there, and I submitted something into UPS, um, asking for updates, saying a lost, lost shipment, and when you buy Amazon shipping, it's, it's through Amazon's account, so as a seller, I don't really have any recourse without getting Amazon to cooperate with me. And you know, getting Amazon to even, oh, Amazon's customer service is ridiculous. So I sent them something, I think it was about six weeks out from my box being shipped. And I sent them, uh, opened up a ticket and said, can you please open something with UPS to look at the shipment? It's been sitting in this, location in Pennsylvania has not made it to the warehouse yet and last movement was like September 6th or something 6th or 7th and they came back with some weird thing about FC transfers and waiting and all this other stuff and I'm like well wait what do you not get you guys haven't even gotten the box yet I'm not saying that I'm asking what Amazon is doing with my box. I'm asking you to ask UPS where my box is. And uh, I was, it's just, I don't even know what to say about Amazon customer service. It is the worst 
business customer service I have ever dealt with, ever dealt with. I would take sitting on hold for three hours with another company and then getting a human on the line that understands what I'm talking about and then dealing with it three hours later over what I get with with uh, Amazon. Because Amazon, you, you can't even talk to them. The canned responses that they send back to you have nothing to do a lot of times. It's like, did you even read my message? Because what you're replying has nothing to do with what I'm complaining about or asking about or inquiring about. I put in for a brand approval, submitted my wholesale invoices. That was on September 2nd. And I got a reply saying, thank you for submitting this and you'll hear from us within two to three days. I haven't heard a thing since. Every week or so I've been asked, sending something saying, can you please check on this? Can you please give me an update? Do I need to close this and resubmit it? Do you need more information? Like every time I keep asking something just a little differently, crickets, nothing, 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 nothing. And I've heard that there are people who are getting approved in this brand, it's, it's for Nike. I've been hearing that people have been getting approved. Well, what's up with mine? But then I've also heard there are other people that applied in September and have not heard anything. So it is now November 1st. I applied September 2nd. So tomorrow will be two months since I applied and I have heard nothing. I would really like to sell the items I purchased on wholesale because they required me to go out and purchase items wholesale. I would like to sell those items on Amazon. I have them on eBay, but eBay you just don't get the, the price that you do on Amazon. I would like to sell them on Amazon for quarter four. So please Amazon, I followed your rules. Can you please respect me as a seller and do so, reply to me, like do something. At least even if you want to say no, say no, like do something. Ah, just, oh, oh my gosh. All right, so here we go. I'll talk about Amazon and I'm getting stressed out and that's not what today is about. It's about not being stressed. So again, take time for yourself. Find avenues to de-stress. And I know it's really tough right now. We're in quarter four and some people are just balls to the wall. I don't even know if that's still a saying, but they're just like hustling hard to get quarter four and just to do sales, and some of them have already had quarter four sales since quarter two, and they're just hoping to even do more. But you know, get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, but if you're finding yourself starting to get burnt out, please, please, please take care of yourself. You get some exercise in, eat healthy, take a break, uh, just do something for yourself, even if it's just go into bed a few hours early to get an extra hour of sleep or two. Like sleep is so important. You know, just the basic necessities. Don't forget to eat lunch. How many of us are outsourcing and we look and we're like, oh my gosh, it's three o'clock and I haven't even eaten lunch. And I left so early, so I didn't even eat breakfast. And you're eating your first meal at three, four o'clock because you've just been so busy. You don't want to stop to eat. Grab uh, some apples and some almonds or you know things like that that are easy to have on hand that you can grab and eat in between stores things like that have bottles of water in the back of your car so you can drink it's so important to stay hydrated just take care of yourself while this quarter four is going on because it's so easy to let things go and not just be so engulfed in what you're doing and prepping your packages like my gosh, my friend who sent out 14 boxes, I'm not even sure if she slept for days getting those boxes ready and prepping and peeling off those damn stickers from big lots that stuck. They have some of the cardboard that is so hard to take stickers off from and I damaged, I damaged some WWE figurines and they're now going to go up on eBay because I can't send them into Amazon. I really do need to get myself a heat gun hair dryer or something. I had one before and it was just so clumpy to have around. And I didn't need it that often that I just, actually I gave it to my husband and he uses it for our wood furnace when he needs to get the fire started sometimes. 
So I kind of had that off. I really do need to get another one so I can have it available. I'd like to find just a small one. I don't even know if they make them. It would be really nice if they made just like, you know, one like this big. Just a little tiny one that I could hold on to just to warm up the label just a little bit to peel it off better. Um, I tried it on a few other ones one time and I was actually scorching the, um, I don't know if it was the plastic or cardboard or something scorched so I'm like okay yeah yep yeah. you gotta kind of have to play around with it and, and get it just right to heat it up heat up the sticker just enough to be able to peel it off most of the time my Scotty peeler works perfectly anything that's plastic comes off pretty good that and some goo gone and there is like the wax coated cardboard that stickers come off really well on but man the Ollie stickers and those Big Lot stickers. Uh, what did I, oh yes, last year at Ollie's I bought a bunch of Robins from Batman and Robin. These little Robins that were selling really well and I think I bought like 20 of them or so. It was a, it was a, a big amount for me. I cleared their shelf, got them home, and started peeling them and it just ripped, 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 ripped. Constantly was just ripping all the, the, the packaging and yeah of course none of them ended up on amazon they all ended up on ebay and i'm not even sure if i ever sold any so i'll have to check and see i have to check and see it because what i ended up doing i think after i destroyed about three or four of them i did um i left the prices are on them and i was only removing the price when i would sell them which i do that a lot um, sometimes i'm a lazy reseller in that regard I won't take all the prices off until something sells and then when I'm packaging it, I'll peel the label off and package it up. As far as I know, I've never forgotten to take a label off before I've sent it to a customer. Um, all right, well, I'm almost on my Moz. So I want to just close up by, again, just reminding you to take care of yourself. Uh, just do what you need to do you know you know yourself and what you're capable of doing uh, but just don't push it you know some people they can push it hard and they can work non-stop and then come January 1st or December 26 uh, just kind of say oh I guess maybe December 23rd unless you're gonna overnight packages can just say okay whew, that's it that's it quarter four is done I'm tired I can breathe and now I can sleep and they can be perfectly fine with it. And sometimes there are some personalities that get such a high off from the hustle. And actually sometimes that is their stress reliever is being that busy in that in that, uh, that type of work environment. And others, not so much. That's me, not so much. I do not do well with stress. I used to do really well with stress, but I do not do well with stress. And I know that. So when it gets to that point, I know I need to step back. And again, I'm very fortunate that I don't need my money to live on. Um, I have a husband who has funds and stuff that helps me. So it, it does make it a little easier for me. I see an orange pump, or not an orange, obviously orange. I see a yellow pumpkin on somebody's steps. That was really cool. Uh, so for me, it's just, it's nice that I can take a step back and say, you know what? I'm not going to get all engulfed into the quarter four stuff. But all right. I've already said that, right? So I keep repeating myself. So that's why I really should just let you go until you, unless you're going to start banging your head on a wall and say, Tamara, you are stressing me out because <laughs> you keep repeating yourself. All right. I'll let you guys go. Have a great November. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed Halloween the best that you could. Uh, I don't live in an area where we have trick-or-treaters, so I don't even know if kids went trick-or-treating last night. I have no idea. Uh, if you did, hopefully everybody was okay and stayed safe. And enjoy the candy. And don't forget to make your six-month dentist appointment if you haven't made one recently to get your teeth checked to make sure you're doing good. All right? Talk to you guys later. All righty, bye-bye.